How you doing guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install a unifying receiver. Um, some people think it's easy, some people think it's not. The main reason we had a lot of issues uh, with customers complaining about it's not working. Uh, basically some people say it's it's supposed to work right out of the bed, some people say no. Well you know what, it all depends what you buy and with what condition it is. Usually if you buy a brand new Logitech mouse, it will be synced already with the mouse or the keyboard. If you're going to buy just a receiver, as we have here, you can buy at our eBay um, store or on uh, Amazon, you will have to sync it. Also if you're going to buy a keyboard, this is a, in this situation it's a K750 and it's a coming with um, a unifying receiver right here in this. Sometimes it's going to be like a small bag of just a receiver, just this one in it. And sometimes you'll buy just a mouse. Now this one, it's actually a mouse with no receiver. The reason is some people have a mouse um, that has been bad and they want to replace it or let's say they just have a keyboard with a unified receiver so they can just add a mouse uh, to it. He does. They don't need to uh, purchase uh, a separate unifying receiver. All right. So we're going to start with the keyboard first. So some people think that you know, what? I have the keyboard. I'm going to plug it right away, and it's going to work. Well, we're going to give it a shot. We'll see what's going on and what's the problems. So, going to start with the keyboard. K seven six six. 750. It looks like it turns on. You do have the um, green side here. And we're going to open this one out. And inside you will have this note when a lot of people ignoring that note. This is basically the instruction that we're going to do right now and the unified receiver. Alright, so first thing first, we got to plug it to the side. In this case, it's going to be a laptop. You got to plug it, and it's going to show that it's actually detected right here. It'll show that Windows detected, and it's processing it, it's installing drivers. Now, some people think that this driver is the software. Well, I can tell you for sure it's not. Okay, this is just the drivers. It's not the software that pairing between the keyboard, the mouse, and the receiver. You will need to download the software. You'll still need to download the software. A lot of people that think that you don't, and that's the main problem that we have. You do need to download the software. You do need to install it. If it's a Mac or if it's Windows, it doesn't matter. You have to do it. It's, it's basically working like a Bluetooth. You have to pair between the two. Once you do that, it's all good to go. So it's going to be ready in a few minutes. Till then, we're going to go to Logitech website. And you're just going to go to logitech.com forward slash unifying. And Google Chrome found it. Let's see what's going on with the drivers. Still working on it. Get the software. It's a little bit slow today. And we're going to press download. It's going to be a 4 meg software, pretty uh, straightforward. I advise to uh, download the software and install it before. Uh, it doesn't really change that much, um, but that's basically what uh, Logitech recommend. And here we are. And that's basically what you need. It's the welcome screen. You got two options. You can go on the basic settings, which is next, and it'll just give you a straightforward installation, or it's going to give you the advanced, which we're going to get later on. So on the um, next button, which once you're going to press next, it's basically going to tell you to install the unifying receiver. Now this one is not done yet. Once this will be done, it will show the uh, next button. So we're going to wait a little bit and see what's going on. 
Okay, so we're back and it looks like uh, it's installing most of it. It looks like this one, the USB receiver driver, is not installed yet, but it doesn't really matter because we do have the next button option right now, which is available. You're going to press next and basically the software is going to tell you, okay, I'm ready to pair right now. Uh, just show me what you want to pair, turn it off and then turn it back on. So this keyboard, the one that we use, we already turned it on. So in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to turn it off and we're going to turn it back on. All right, now basically what it did, you see that the screen change basically show that there is a pair between the two and it will tell you to make sure that the keyboard is working, just type a few characters here, which we're doing right now. And we do have the characters right there. That's it basically for a normal a pairing between a keyboard and a mouse. It also recognizes what keyboard it is, which it says a K750. Um, this is a pair between a keyboard and uh, the receiver. Now, if, for example, I still want to use the keyboard, I'm going to put it here on the side, and I'm going to take this mouse. Okay? And I say I want to pair this mouse also and make a set of a keyboard and a mouse, basically. So, what we're going to do batteries in it first. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go back and we're gonna click the advanced option. Alright, now you look at this this keyboard is already installed. Okay? Now if I want to change the keyboard, I want to come and I say, hey, you know what? I want to unpair. One click, it's done. If I want to pair it back again, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it on. Give it a few seconds. And it shows that it paired a K750. Before it showed a K360 because we did a test with a K360 before. So now we... Okay, so again, we got to the all right, so we pair one item, which is the K750. Now we want to add this mouse to um, to make a combo set of the keyboard and the mouse. So we're gonna uh, we have two options. One is to click on next again and do the whole thing back again. But if you do want to see what's going on, if you do want to be a little bit more advanced and know how to pair and unpair a device, my advice go to the advanced option. And here in the invest option, you actually have all the items that you pair uh, before and sometimes after. So basically, if you don't want to use the K750 anymore in this case, you can just unpair it. Uh, obviously, you can pair it back again, but just know that the unpair and pair you have up to around 40 or 48 different pairs. Once you get to that number, um, it will just lock down. I think it's working the same way as the nano receiver which uh, Logitech uh, stopped using, uh, but this is basically the replacement. There is some versions, different versions for the, uh, the unifying receivers. Um, I saw the 19 most of it, there was an 18 that I seen before also, uh, but they're all the same thing, there's no different frequencies or anything like that, so you shouldn't be worried about. So if I want to add another keyboard or another mouse to it, some people want to use two keyboards, two mice, depends if you have a laptop, you have a big one or small one, doesn't matter. Um, this will be a good option. Uh, so the best way is to go with the unifying receivers, go to pair a new device. So it will basically give you the same window as before um, to just turn it off and on. So don't worry about the K750, it's still working, there's no issue about that. Just in this mouse specifically, the on and off button is at the back. We're just gonna turn it on and as you see, it just sync it and you do have uh, an M325 mouse, it's actually said it's here, which is the same thing. So um, now I can actually move it and it does show. All right, a few other things about the unified receiver. I'm going to take it out from the computer, obviously it kind of uh, shows it got disconnected. And if I'm going to put it back on, it should detect everything as normal. Shouldn't be anything special, shouldn't be anything uh, unique about it. But just know that this unified receiver specifically is having those two items. 
Now this already installed, I have another Unify receiver here. If I'm going to install a different Unify receiver, all the information will be erased, will be deleted. So again, make sure all the information is in the Unify receiver. It's not in the device, it's not in the mouse, it's not in the, uh, the keyboard. So if you're using a different receiver, you will need to do the whole thing back again. Okay? If, for example, I'm going to take this specific Unify receiver and put it in this mouse, in the mouse usually you do have a a location you can actually store it. Um, you can actually go with any computer and it's synced. Both of them are already synced, including the mouse and the keyboard. They're already synced. It's all good to go. You don't need to worry about uh, the software anymore. But for the first time use, you will have to download this software. If you have any issues, you have to download that software to pair them. All right. A um, few other things. There's also uh, people told me, hey, you know what, I have a Mac version for this keyboard, the K750 or uh, different models for the Mac. We do have a Mac here, and I can tell you for sure we tested, and you do have to do the same thing with the Mac to make sure that it works. You don't need to download the drivers. There are drivers for the Mac. Um, there is a unifying for the Mac software. You have to download it and make it work the same way as you do with the Windows. Thank you, guys.